what's up guys today we'll be trying the river seven after a long time because all those floods and stuff like that it was messing around all the river banks uh, as you see probably the floods they moved back not long while ago so uh i was waiting a few weeks you know the until waters get clear but the thing is the night before like literally two weeks it was nice weather and the night before i came to fishing um the weather was worst like a horrible it was raining all night so i'm not expecting to find the clear river waters probably it's gonna be muddy waters but you know as usual you're getting ready for the best but the nature have prepared for something else for you and uh have some challenges for you so i will accept those challenges and let's see what what we can get out of the river on the fly so keep tuned guys i see you on the bank guys it was a bike and I just missed it so been in one spot about I spent about 15 minutes in one that in that spot and I uh, have bite from the small jack bike as you see that it was a nice fight but at the end uh, bike wind so yeah um i've got what i'm gonna do now i'm gonna move on on the spots that i know where the, should be the fish so uh, i'll check if i can find them there if not then i'll be checking every single swim uh on my way back so this is my tactics when i'm fishing first coming into the spots where i know is the fish you know just to get a proper hook up on the fishing today and then slowly moving back and um yeah just fishing every single swim all the way to the back to the car park and after that i'm gonna move somewhere else in a different in a different stretch we will see maybe maybe that stretch will be more more lucky for me so who knows so keep keep moving keep casting and let's hope to catch a fish Bike. Nice one. Oh, that's very angry bike. Just goes right into the into the trees under snags. Nice. <laughs> Oh, 
посмотрите. Yes, guys. Nice fish. Get a hook out. Very easy. Oh. On the fly, it's gonna be about I don't know, it's between eight and maybe hell knows. <laughs> Have no idea. About ten pounds, something like that, maybe a bit more. But who cares when they look like this? Very beautiful fish. Snap it like just smash it just right behind me. Whew, that's nice. Little estuaries on the river Severn. My second fish in the same place today. First one has been escaped. So I came back after a few more hours. There you go, boom. This one big mama smashed the fly. Love it when they when they smashing the flies. Whew, nice. Just don't don't take too much on the bank for this girl. Put it back in the water and let's get something else if there's any fun. If not, let's move so, move on somewhere else and then we'll see maybe we'll get something else in a different spot. Give it a bit rest. Big mama, she looks like a bit. She looks like rest already. Yeah, so I gotta get her out of the net. Okay, just anytime. Nice one. We get. Let's go catch another one. I'm looking for. I'm looking for the active pikes because there's no point to stay for no, no active ones. You know, just spend time in one place when you can catch another three pikes somewhere else. So, and uh, and when you come, if you don't catch a pike in there, you can just simply come back later on. And who, who knows, maybe you will catch the pike when she's feed, on feeding. So, it will be easier to catch and you don't need to waste the time. Well, you can catch something else. Just keep moving. Very nice, really nice weather. Just perfect for pikes. So let's try to cover more swims because the sun is goes down about five o'clock. So I need to cover some swims until five. <laughs> Jesus Christ, she scared me. <sighs> oh my gosh. I wasn't expecting that little aggressive beast. <laughs> nice. <laughs> she just smashed that fly like like crazy, jumped out of the water. Alright. Oh, it's very slippery in here. So need to get out somehow. <laughs> Okay, get the net out. Today. Oh, that's a nice fish. 
little jack but <laughs> smash it like crazy she just literally was lying somewhere there so yeah she was literally just lying somewhere over there oh damn she's just <laughs> she scared me i wasn't expecting that like such aggressive take i was expecting like you know just slow move catch the fly that's it and just you know hold on hold on and but this one beast uh, yeah she don't want it to give up like that it's quick, so quick, easy come on girl yes show me the fly give me the hook oh look how she was inhaled She's inhaled like proper fly, all fly, and the hook is go went out through the gills. But let's try to get out the hook safely. Nice. Haven't done too much damage to the mouth, so that's the most important thing. Yes. <coughs> Pretty beast from River Severn. <laughs> Amazing. Just put it back slip this back it's actually like just like this yes just right in there yes guys oh, papa. another little jack my setup that's a uh, Frank's flies I'm using it uh, description you can find it down below in the video there's a fly that, that I'm using, um, number 10 reel with a hashtag 10, number 10 uh, intermediate line. My rod is uh, as well, as you see, 9 foot, 10, number 10, casting weight and uh, reel as well, the bigger reel just to control pikes. I'm using fluorocarbon, 40 pound fluorocarbon light leader and I'm using as well I'm using two small beads Bo both beads is like two grams each so it was uh, about four grams using just to get a fly faster uh, to get fly faster a bit down to the down to the water you know to the depth because um, water is dropped but not not that low how usually it is so I'm using some weight just to take fast take a fly faster a bit down to the down to depth and um, yeah to reach the bike quicker like I'm not using heavy weight for the fly for the flies because you know the thing is the fly can dive very quick deep very quick and it will be snaggy there's loads of rocks and uh, logs under the water so I'm not using heavy weights for them and the pike, if, if, if she is active, she will come up anyway for the fly. So, no, no it, it's not necessary to use the heavy flies. Yes, guys, I arrived to another place. Just perfect spot for them. Let's try. Who knows, maybe we'll catch another one. That was nice and uh, she's gone. Oh well. One more missed that bike. But at least I know they they are here so and they're active. That's what is most most important thing for me. Let's move on just down there, so maybe there will be some bikes over there. Who knows maybe over there we're gonna find some of them.
little beast. <laughs> Another little beast in the net. This time on the Frank's Frank flies. Uh, Frank flies. I don't know how does he call this. How is he call this fly? But it looks like similar like a Robert Roach. Actually same, but. It. Little beastie. Yeah, look at this nice colorings. She just came out somewhere just right there by the bank. So slip this bag and she's gone. Yeah, nice one. Another little beastie. Guys, another one, Jack. Ah, little, little angry beast. Nice one. Oh, I just love to see them when they're hungry like this. I knew, I knew it that. I knew she's gonna be somewhere here because you see the main stream runs in here. There's like slow down and there's a literally stopped stream and there's those branches in here and she's literally I saw like she came just right behind her. She was just lying in there and just waiting. Nice one. Little one but little one but strong one. She's just get a get a hook out. Put it back in the water fight another day she hooked somewhere in a deep deep in the jaws yes nice I like big hooks when you have big hooks it's very easy nice to remove so Frank flies did the job again so today literally was all day long it was testing it the front flies, little nice jug in the net. But look at those lovely colorings. Look, mint jug, and no one have been called this jug before. So, uh, such a lovely fish. Yeah, just get a bit rest and wait. Different way. Yes, now you can go. Nice one. Uh, beast. <laughs> Four pikes were landed and much more were lost. So some of them they were caught on camera, some of them they don't. Uh, after so long time to do some pike fly fishing, like, it's, it's, you know, it's like, I don't know, it's like a second life <laughs> inspired me. So thank you for watching. Guys, and I'll see you next time.